So get your ass up. Go get some money, okay? Because you got to pay the rent for next month. Period. So welcome back to my channel as y'all can see by the title today i'm going to be showing y'all we're telling y'all how to get an apartment at a very young age i got my apartment at the age of 21 and i'm going to show y'all what i did to get my apartment and i'm pretty sure it's going to help a lot of you guys so i just decided to make this video so i could show y'all in case y'all lost and everything that i did and the tips that i have on how to get your apartment so yeah y'all make sure to stay tuned to this video also make sure to subscribe to my channel um, I do do a lot of try on hauls and vlogging and also informational videos just like this one. So if you guys like that, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also make sure to give this video a like if you guys like it. Hmm. Um, and yeah, y'all, let's get to the video. Hmm. All right, yeah, so I do have my iPad with me because I made a whole list of everything that I want to talk about. Um, it's a couple of things. I do think this video is going to be long, but it's going to be very informative. So I'm just going to get right into it. The first thing that I'm going to tell y'all that nobody tells y'all is to get y'all money up, okay? If y'all don't have money saved up, if y'all not working or whatever, if y'all don't have a plan to get y'all money up, I suggest y'all start now, even before you start researching and all of that. Because I promise you, they're going to ask you for deposits. They're going to ask you for next month's rent. They're going to ask you for next year's rent. For, nah, let me stop. <laughs> They're not going to ask you for all of that, but they are going to ask you most likely for a deposit or the further um, first month's rent. I know that there's some that they charge for last month's rent. I don't know about all that because one thing about me, if I wasn't living there last month, you're not charging me for no last month's rent. But there's some that they will charge you for last month's rent, but you just have to be prepared financially for that because one thing about it, you don't want to do all this research. You don't want to call. You don't want to ask questions just so that when they give you the opportunity, the thing that you're lacking on is money. You don't want that. that. So get your money up. And if y'all don't know how to get your money up, I suggest y'all just go look for a job. If y'all can, um, talk to family members who could help y'all. Because I know that there's some family members that can help y'all. I know my dad, he was able to help me. Um, what else? Um, yeah, just, you know, start thinking about how you're going to get your money up. But have a plan for that. Yeah. All right, yeah, so the second thing is going to be credit, okay? The first thing I had to talk about was the money, and now I'm going to go in straight to the credit. I'm not going to gatekeep. I'm not going to do none of that. What I need to tell y'all about credit is that y'all need to know where y'all credit stands, okay? There's no way that you're just going to come over here applying for all these um, apartments and stuff like that, and you don't even know where your credit stands. So that's, yeah, that's, that's number two. Know where your credit stands. For example, when I was applying for my apartment my credit was not that good and my background for my credit was horrible I'm not even gonna lie. my background was so horrible i'm not even gonna gatekeep none of that because i'm really not trying to do that in this video i know that there's other youtubers that they try to tell y'all what's tea but they don't tell y'all what's tea i'm not gonna do that yeah my credit was bad okay my credit was horrible it was not it it was not for the apartment that i was aiming for you know so one thing that I could tell y'all is to actually know where your credit stands. Know what your background is looking like. Y'all could go to Credit Karma. Y'all could go to, I think it's called Credit Sesame or Sesame Credit or Sesame Street. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. But go find out what your credit looks like, okay? Because um, it's going to play a big role when you're searching for your apartment. All right. And, if, and then there's some people that I feel like they have more advantage. For example, if you haven't started building credit, I'm not going to say that's the best thing, but it's a good thing, you know, because you could take your time and build your credit. So just like when you're saving your money and you're working on your money, make sure you're also building your credit because you don't have anything negative in your background. So it's going to be easier for you to get more things or more good apartments at a good place or whatever, a good area or whatever because you don't have credit. So it's basically like you're starting very new, but just build your credit, take your time building your credit because it's gonna benefit you in the long run. Okay, me personally, when it came to me having bad credit or me having not such a clean record, because let me tell y'all, when I was 18, <laughs> they told me, baby, you qualify for a $700 credit. I was like, say word, say, say word, say word, okay? 
So I was like, yeah. So I went back up to college with my $700 Chase credit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I felt like a multi-millionaire because what? No, nobody was telling me nothing. Nobody was telling me nothing. Nobody could tell me anything. I have $700 in credit. Mm -hmm. So hey, you want to know what I spent the $700 on? That was before the pandemic. I spent it on a flight ticket that I never paid back. Oh my God. But I tell you that it messed my credit up so bad, bro. And I still had to, it's still, oh my God. I still have to fix it, but it messed up my credit so bad. But anywho, that was my thing for my, um, when it came to my credit, my credit was not that good. So there was a bunch of things that I really had to maneuver over. Like, you know, you know, um, because my credit. So I'm just saying, fix your credit, make sure your credit is good. Cause it's going to benefit y'all in the long run. Okay. So the next thing that I want to talk about apart from credit and apart from getting your money up, because those two are very important. Once you have those two settled or whatever, or you know what your credit score is and, and you know what backgrounds you have or what you have to fix or once you know all of that and once you have your money, you know, planned out or how you're going to save your money and everything, the next thing that's going to come up is making a list of what you want. Okay, so I suggest you make a list of what you want so you don't go and settle for anything. Okay, like me, for example, when I was applying for jobs and, and I was making my list, one thing that I wanted to include was the utilities because me, I'm from New York. Okay, I don't know nothing about paying no light bill, no water bill, no gas bill, no trash bag, no none of that, none of that, none of that, none of that. I don't know nothing about that. Okay, so I want to like at least some of the utility to be included, like at least water or something so that it could like not be too much on me when it's time to and pay my rent, you know, and I also just wanted to know what was included in the rent, you know, apart from the rent, you know what I mean? So that was that. I also wanted like my, um, my apartment to either come with a laundry facility or to come with the laundry inside the unit because I don't have time to be getting up and taking my clothes to the nearest laundry. I don't have time for that, bro. I mean, no, no. So I needed to see if they had that laundry facility included. So I added that to my list. Um, I added, which was the first one that I should have mentioned earlier, whether I wanted a studio or a one bedroom. I'm by myself, so I could deal with a studio apartment. I don't like bringing people over to my apartment anyway. So it really was not gonna bother me if I had a studio. And then I also wanted to compare the price to a one bedroom because if a one bedroom was a little bit higher, not too much, I would have just went with the one bedroom, but I ended up going with the studio. All right, then the next thing is a certain price that you're looking for, okay? Remember, this comes back to the first thing that I had mentioned. Get your money up, okay? Because once they say, oh, yeah, you got to pay the first month's rent, you need to have that first month's rent ready and also the deposit ready, okay? So there was a certain price that I was looking for, and it also went with the job that I had, obviously. If your job is not that good, you should not be going for no $5,000 apartment because you're going to struggle. Not only you're going to struggle, but mommy, papi, sister, bro, everybody gonna struggle trying to pay your apartment and we don't want that. Mm -hmm, we don't want that. Okay, the next thing that I added on my list was the location, okay? Heavy on the location. Me personally, I didn't care about the location. I just wanted to get my apartment and get the <laughs> respectfully. I just wanted to get my apartment and get out, okay? So I really didn't care about the location. Actually, my location was like more than 60 miles. I moved more than 60 miles because I got accepted to an apartment um, further than where I was. But like I said, I really didn't care. I didn't personally care. I'm able to start over because it's just me by myself. Um, but that's not the case for other people. There's other people that they want to be closer to their parents. They want to be closer to, you know, where they grew up and stuff. They don't want to, you know, start completely new. So you also have to keep that in mind on where the location is going to be at. Right, yeah, so number four, I think we're on number four, money, credit, search, number four, okay? So next thing after you have everything that you wanted listed is to actually start searching, okay? Start searching, okay? So just go on Google. Me personally, I went to this specific um, 
website i think it's called apartments.com and i went there because it had the price ranges that i was looking for like i said i was not looking for too much i was just gonna move from one city to a whole nother city and i didn't have a job okay i had a job in that previous city but that same job was not gonna be able to relocate me to where i was moving at so i knew that just in case like I was not able to pay my first month's rent or the next following rent, my parents could assist me because it wasn't that much until I looked for a job. But thankfully, I was able to look for a job like within one or two weeks. So that's that. Um, I went to the apartments.com or whatever, and I used their filters. So I would use their filters to basically filter out everything. That's what I told you to make that list. So I could filter out whether um, I wanted the utilities to be included, whether I wanted it to have a laundry, whether I wanted it to be a studio or one bedroom. I was able to filter all that out and get the prices that I wanted. So after that, after the researching, I made a list of 50, okay? It's going to take time, but if you really want your apartment, you're gonna have to do all of this, okay? I made a list of 50 apartments that I wanted, okay? So I would just go scroll down or whatever, scroll down through the website and see if I was, like let's say they were to call me and tell me, okay, we're gonna give you this apartment, I'll accept it, okay? So you have to make a list of 50 of those apartments that you would accept um, be, and then you're gonna start calling, okay? So that leads me into the next tip. All right, y'all, so after y'all made y'all list or whatever, y'all gonna start calling, okay? When when y'all making that list, actually, make sure to write down the number of the apartments, like the phone numbers of the apartments next to the um, apartments that you're writing down because you're gonna start calling, okay? You're gonna start calling, you're gonna start asking questions, any questions that you may have, whether that's a question between the utilities, that's a question between the laundry facility that you want, that's a question between how big are the rooms, are there any available, um, how is the neighborhood, yada, 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 if you can actually go tour it, and yada, yada. That's another thing. Please make sure that you go see the apartment before you even purchase it or whatever. Like, make sure you, yeah, because that's your money that you're gonna be investing. You're gonna sign a lease and then you're going to be stuck there. So therefore, make sure you go do that research. So that's that. And then you can also ask questions on the deposit, where to apply, because I know that there's some that you have to apply online and then there's some that you actually have to go into the office and manually apply, like, you know, and all of that. So just ask them those type of questions. Ask them also, if the deposit is not the deposit if the application fee what is the application fee and also if the deposit is refundable because i know there's some apartments that they would literally not give you your money back even though you did not get accepted i don't have time for that okay so that's also that's what i'm telling you it all goes back to the first advice that i gave you make sure that your money is up because there's some that they would literally take your deposit and they won't give it to you back because it's a non-refundable deposit. Yet again, you didn't get accepted to the apartment. So just make sure, make sure to do your research because we don't want, ain't nobody want to be paying no $300 deposit for an apartment that I didn't get. Be for real, like be for real. So that's that. And also me, my biggest question when it came to looking for apartments and everything was if they require credit. That was my biggest question. I didn't care about nothing though. When I tell you I didn't care about nothing else, I just wanted to know if they required credit because credit was literally, it was killing me, okay? It was kicking me crazy. It was, it was just doing too much for me. So my biggest thing was if they required credit, okay? And some of them do require credit and some of them don't. When they, when they say they don't require credit, make sure that you're really really searching because you got to think about it if they don't require credit for you they're most likely not requiring credit for nobody else and if they're not requiring credit for nobody else who are they really accepting into the apartment so who are going to be your neighbors who do you got to deal with for a 12 month lease you got to think about it you got to think about it so and then some of them they would also do require credit but they only require that you have not been evicted me personally i've never been evicted um, I, like I said, I'm from New York. I'm not from here. So, well, I'm not from the state that I moved to. So, yeah, that, 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 
that little thingy with Jay that they had about the moving, um, about the credit and stuff and, and that eviction stuff, it didn't apply to me, but everybody is different, okay? When it comes to, if you have ever been evicted, I apologize, I don't know what to say, okay? Because I don't know nothing about that. You can also speak to them or ask to speak in person about that and how y'all could fix that or if there's any possibility that y'all could get us up to the apartment, but that's just that. All right, y'all, so another thing that I wanted to mention was having an apartment is really, like is a real big responsibility, okay? You're going to be putting in a lot of stuff in your apartment. You're going to be moving around and, and doing a lot of things just to get your apartment. So I do say, or one thing that I could say is to actually be responsible. Make sure that you have money saved up. Because me, I have a hard time saving money. Yeah, I have a hard time saving money out. Yeah. <laughs> so, but still, like, try to save your money. Try to actually invest and stuff and do things that could possibly, could, could benefit you at the end. One thing that you don't want is to have issues with your apartment, especially when it took so long for you to get it and so much work that you just don't want to get evicted or just for doing something so simple like paying the rent. So get your ass up. Go get some money, okay? Because you got to pay the rent for next month, period. All right, y'all. So that was basically it for this video, okay? I hope that was able to help y'all. I wish somebody could have made a video like this before I started looking for my apartment and before I even moved to the state that I'm in now. But I hope it was able to help y'all. Make sure to do y'all research, okay? Make sure to take your time, do your research, get your money up, okay? Because you don't want to be looking no broke. You don't want to look brokey when they be like, oh, yeah, pay your depart um, your deposit is $300. And then you'll be like, oh, well, let me go work. I'll come back in three years to pay. No, 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 no. You're going to be like, okay, let me check out the apartment, ask questions and stuff. Because when you're looking at the apartment and you make it, ask all the questions in the world, okay because this is your money that's going into your apartment so yeah y'all that's basically it for this video i hope i was able to assist y'all and help y'all and you know yada 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 and okay so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys like videos like this i normally don't do videos like this i just wanted to do a video like this honestly because i wish somebody would have made a video like this when i was looking for my apartment but yeah i normally do like try on hauls and you know um vlogs and stuff like that i'm actually gonna be heading out the country in a couple of days so i'm gonna be vlogging and if you guys like stuff like that make sure to subscribe to me okay because why wouldn't you because i would so why wouldn't you but yeah y'all so i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video